Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll go over step by step how to set up the DJI Fly app for the Air 3 to live stream via YouTube and also the necessary YouTube settings needed to do so. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. To stream via YouTube, aside from the Air 3, there are going to be three things that are needed. You'll need the DJI RC2 or a DJI RCN2 remote controller. If using the DJI RC2, you'll need to either use your cell phone's hotspot or be connected to Wi-Fi. You'll need, of course, the DJI Fly app and a YouTube account. Now, for this tutorial, we'll be using the DJI RC2 remote controller as that's the more popular choice when buying Air 3 combos. Here's something to be mindful of. If you are live streaming via YouTube for the first time, upon starting the initial process of streaming, there'll be a 24 hour verification and initialization period. Once the time frame is expired, you should be able to live stream. Now let's go into the YouTube stream settings. The first thing that needs to be done for those streaming for the first time on the DJI Fly app is to copy the YouTube stream key and stream URL. As long as these settings are not changed in your YouTube account at a later time, the stream key and URL that are housed in the DJI Fly app will be correct. To get to these settings, open YouTube on your PC, Mac, or electronic device. Make sure you're logged into the YouTube account you'd like to stream through. In the upper right hand side of the screen, press the create icon, then select go live. For first time streamers, you should see a YouTube Live Control Room screen. Here you're presented with two options asking when you'd like to go live, either stream right now or stream at a later date. Choose right now by tapping start to get the stream settings. Now at the pick the type of stream to begin screen, choose streaming software and press go. See, the streaming software option enables you to use DJI Fly as the streaming software. If your channel is monetized, you can set your monetization options now. After accepting and saving the options, you should now be in the Stream Setup main screen Stream Settings tab. If for some reason the YouTube Live Control Room screen does not load or appear, you will likewise be brought here to the Stream Setup main screen. Write down or copy to Notepad or Apple Notes the following two pieces of information which you'll need to add to the DJI Fly app. The Stream Key. If you press the I next to the Stream Key, it'll show you that number. The number has dashes in it as well. Then, you want to copy down the stream URL. This is the RTMP address required for the RTMP protocol. After you have this information, feel free to edit your streaming details and information. Now we'll talk about inputting the YouTube stream settings in the DJI Fly app. Open the Fly app and go to the settings screen. Tap on the transmission tab and then select Live Streaming Platforms. Select RTMP. This is the protocol used to live stream. Now you'll want to input the RTMP address, the stream URL, that you copied from the YouTube settings earlier, along with the stream key immediately after. I'm going to put what the example would be of putting in the RTMP address as well as the stream key. After you've done this, set your resolution and bitrate. If you're using the DJI RC2, there's only one streaming resolution available, which is 720p. Now this is because the DJI RC2 does not have the required processing power to stream in 1080p. If using the DJI RCN2 with a fast internet connection, then you can feel free to use the 1080p resolution option. Now after the resolution and bitrate options have been set, press start. Your live stream will count down, letting you know it will start in 3 seconds. 
To verify that the live stream is started and is in progress, there's a notification at the top of the DJI Fly screen confirming the status. To stop the live stream, tap the notification and hit exit. You'll be given a confirmation to end the live stream. If you're using the all-in-one DJI RC2 controller to live stream with and you're noticing that it's choppy or you get the error message, your encoder sends data faster than real time, you should limit live video uploads to approximately one second of video per second, there is a workaround or fix for this. Now, as detailed by DJI support reps, you can attach a USB-C microphone to the RC2's USB slot on the bottom of the controller. We would suggest using a DJI mic or DJI mic 2, which easily attaches to and works seamlessly with the DJI RC2. However, there are some users that use various lines of the Rode Go mics like myself. So all you would need is a male-to-male USB-C adapter and connect the Rode receiver to the DJI RC2. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.